Episode number seven, season two, Across the Ice Belt with Ice Team Complete. Mr. Tim Moore over in New Hampshire. Uh, we just wrapped up our shoot and just ate a wonderful seafood dinner. Yes, we did. I'm exhausted. We uh, we had a hard travel to get here um, and some crazy weather, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty epic. Yeah. We uh, we got here and it was pouring rain. Um, and uh, first time I've seen rain in a little while. And, sure. and it was downpouring, lightning and thunder, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, that was day one. So we were held up that morning. We couldn't actually fish because it was pouring rain just yeah. too much. And then we had, I mean, a ton of challenges. And, and then the rain blew off, right? Blew off, literally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then we had super sunny weather. So we headed out, um, and our target species was? White perch. Yeah. Uh, white perch are not native to this area. Originally saltwater fish that they grow unusually large in Lake Winnipesaukee. Yeah. And yeah. they're pretty good to eat. They're pretty good to eat. They fight hard. They travel in big schools. They're pack hunters. So mm -hmm. as you saw, when a school moves in, it just goes from zero to 60 yeah. in seconds. Yeah. You know, and then right back to zero again, just as fast. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. Yeah. It was fun. Super fun. I mean, it's a... Uh... You know, you, you see a few messages on Facebook about the fish being a rough fish or whatever. You know what? It doesn't matter to, my, to me whether it's rough or smooth. I, I like a fish that bends the rod, right? And that eats super aggressive. I mean, we just did the uh, white bass piece and huge response off that. And, I mean, we're out here to fish to have fun. Yeah, so, I mean, the white perch, a really, really cool animal and how it moves and how fast it moves and the bite and everything else and maybe you can talk about the presentation a little bit yeah um, you know they're a truly nomadic fish so like we talked about through the show mobility is key mm -hmm. uh, they're chasing smelt so a lot of times we we tend to sort of match the hatch um, that's where that the blade spoons come in really handy because it gives it that nice flutter that, the, that might come from the schools of smelt um, we have to change out our hooks to single hooks with a single point Mm -hmm. Put bait on them. We fish just a little tiny piece of worm or some spikes, something they can't get a hold of and pull off. And uh, the, the the real big thing when the schools move in is, as you saw, getting your jig back down to them before they're gone because sometimes they're in and out. And if you don't get your jig back down there, you know, it could be the difference of one fish or six fish, depending on how quickly you get your jig back down nice to one? them. So the epoxy drop is probably my favorite, most effective jig for those fish. But the blade spoon overall catches more because it gets back down quicker. Yeah, they're fast, and we had a flurry of to actually close the show out. We uh, we probably needed one more fish to close the show out, but we had a crazy <laughs> fun flurry. Yeah. And they're strong. The power, pound for pound, one of the strongest fighting fish in New Hampshire. Yeah. Far. And you 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 were using a Jason Mitchell Gen Seven. The Gen Seven, twenty six inch. 26 and 28 so we, yep. I like to pair the 26 up with the epoxy drops yeah for the lighter lighter line and then we go a little bit heavier with the 28s um, you know more like four pound test line with those blade spoons uh, and a lot of times we'll go a little bit heavier with the 28 inch because as important as it is to get the jig back down to them it's equally as important to get those fish up to the surface sure you can get the jig back down to them so we, we, we tend to beef up just a little bit to help us do that yep. plus we get a lot of lake trout that will come through and hit it in the three pound test line you spend a lot of time retrieving those lake trout while the schools are swimming away yeah <laughs> and i uh, i've been able to use so much of the the new ice team professional series rods this year but i i used Still, probably my favorite fishing rod in the whole lineup, the Jason Mitchell Meat Stick, and that rod is just so fun. And I, I'm, I just how the bait reacts to that light sanded down tip, and then how it loads up. I just, I just love that movement. But it was, that was fun catching those battlers on that fishing rod. Super fun. Yeah. So, um, you know, we spoke about the challenges a little bit. It rained, and then the, it was beautiful, sunny, and then it rained again towards the evening. But we had uh, the Right set up, we had a great flurry, and then the next day we had like 55, 60 mile an hour winds, and we set the hub shack up, and the moral of the story was we could have made a thousand of excuses why we didn't want to go fishing, mm -hmm. but we went. We, we caught them. Yeah, we did. Yeah. New Hampshire is a really special place, first time I've been here. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah, I love it here. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we went and saw the mountains today, and then we drove down and by the ocean in this big, huge, beautiful lake. Winnipesaukee. Winnipesaukee. That's where we fished, and it's just these huge lakes full of different, different arms and every which direction and towns on every little cove. Yeah, it's very heavily developed, but cool and you know neat little towns all around it. Yep. You know, awesome culture. A lot of ice fishing culture around the lake. Yeah. As you can see. And Tim's an instrumental part to the ice fishing community growing here and your your guide service and um, Chuck Fritz, you get a guide with old Chucky boy. He was out there helping us out, setting up the hub shack and I mean it was uh, it was pretty intense um, fishing and Chuck's a big part to your guide service, correct? Yeah, yeah. You know, the, he's instrumental in the continued success of my business and wouldn't be where I am without his help. Yeah. You know, Sue at the Cottage Place provided really sweet accommodations. We really have to say thank you, Sue, for a sweet cabin, right? Yeah, they went over and above yeah. to, to be accommodating and welcoming and just uh, let us know how happy they were to have us here. It showed. Yeah. yeah definitely thank you. Even a sweet gift. I got a coffee mug to take home. And uh, so thank you, Sue, for providing a really cool cabin. We... Uh, it's huge, and we had a blast hanging out. And yeah. I mean, if you're coming to, what town are we in, actually? Holderness. Holderness. We are in Holderness, New Hampshire. Yep, on Squam Lake. Shire, New Hampshire on Squam Lake. It's wicked cool for all you <laughs> New Hampshireans. <laughs> wicked cool. Co yeah. Cottage place on Squam Lake. Yep, really cool. Yeah. And then we also covered Tim Moore's story, and... Tim has a, a super inspirational story um, uh, from uh, maybe not the perfect start to a life, but now uh, as a professional angler. And I think some of you watching are going to find a huge inspiration from from this story um, where where Tim is at now. And there's not too many more hardworking people than you in the industry. And it was uh, an honor to film with Tim and, you know, uh, pretty excited to be sitting here i'm excited to get home and see my family as well but yeah you know i said it uh yesterday jeff you know being a part of ice team and having you guys come out here it's probably one of the highest honors i've ever had as an ice angler so thank you i, really, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart it's it's a big deal for me yeah yeah it doesn't get any more real than that so well thanks a lot thank you cross the ice belt with ice team make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, we're going to have tips, and we actually filmed a new uh, tackle uh, commercial with uh, with Tim here today. Had a great time uh, chasing perch and chasing uh, crappies and just chasing a whole bunch of fish. Had a, had a blast doing that. And, um, and like us on Facebook, of course. And Here's to uh, one more show for us across the ice belt. We're headed northbound to Lake of the Woods Chase Trout. So...